Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this is the old tried and true Taurus Model 85 five shot 38 special two inch barreled snub nose revolver. And this is the brand new Taurus Defender Model 856 six shot revolver with a three inch barrel. So let's head on over to the range and put this Defender through its paces. So I've had the Taurus Defender 856 in for about a month now. Uh, we're just shooting some Remington, I believe it's 130 grain, the UMC bulk stuff. Uh, 38 Special is kind of hard to find right now, as, as everything is nowadays in the industry. But this shoots 38 Special, and it's also plus P rated. And you will notice that it, it is the matte stainless steel finish with the kind of offset black textured DZ grips. And again, that six shot. Keep forgetting it's six shot. <laughs> I think five, because I've had that Taurus 85 forever. Taking her to a few different rain sessions just to kind of test her out, make sure there's no hang ups, make sure there's no issues. So far, it runs like a revolver, no issues at all. Shells eject super smooth. Again, I think that trigger is only going to improve and it's not a bad trigger. In fact, if you try a little snub nose Model 85, five rounds, I think you have a three inch barrel on the Defender versus this Model 85 is, I believe it's just a two inch barrel. Got a couple of reviews on this one if you wanna check it out. But this one has really, really smoothed up the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's a joy to shoot now. And honestly, the, the big difference I think between these two and what you can get with the 856 is the rubberized grips. Um, if you like the rubberized grips. But the VZ grips are nice. They're, they're hard, so they're not like a soft texture, right? Um, but they have a nice contour to them. And you'll notice that you have finger grooves, so you can see you can put your fingers around there and you have a little pinky right there, which is something you don't get with the snub noses. Snub noses, you really just get those two fingers and you might have a little bit of a pinky, but it's something where you're really like kind of dangling right there. This one has definitely a pinky spot. You can even see the grip on the bottom of my hand there. So that is kind of a big difference there. Not just the barrels. All right, so let me go ahead, let's go ahead and show you a close up, kind of show you what we're looking at. There's about 150 rounds through her so far. Then I have a bunch of different types of ammunition to test out with her. And we do some accuracy tests at like maybe like five yards or something just to kind of see what different types of ammunition that I could find <laughs> look like on paper with the 856. So Taurus Defender 856 on the left, Taurus Model 85 on the right. Again, three inch versus two inch barrel, five shot versus six shot. And if you notice the cylinders there, the cylinders are about the same size, honestly. They just kind of narrowed up the spacing between here to fit the six rounds. And then you have a little bit wider on the five shot snub nose. So kind of a different design there. Again, you have rubberized grips here, a little bit smaller, but they're really comfy. And then you have little harder VZ grips with a little bit more of a pinky extension. But honestly, I don't know which one I like more. I kind of like the rubber with a snub nose because it's definitely a little bit more of a punch to it. Uh, the Defender's a little bit smoother to shoot overall. However, I might even go with that classic, like that tungsten Cerakote. I might have to get one of those, honestly. Uh, but the VZ grips are nice. Um, the weight comes in at 35 ounces, so something to consider there. Of course, a little bit bigger. But what's cool is you do have the nice rear notch as a fixed rear sight. But on the front, you have a Mariglow night sights with an orange accent. 
you can see there, which are a very nice sight picture. I mean, it's kind of like the blacked out rear night sight front, which is my personal favorite. So it's very similar to that, and they line up nicely compared to a snub nose, which is just kind of a serration with a little groove there. Uh, if you want to know some specs, of course, the height, 4.8 inches. The width is 1.41 on this right here. Okay, and you also have a length of 7.5. MSRP depends on what you want out of the gun, so what kind of grips you want, what colorations you want. There's a few different models on the website for Taurus for this one as they kind of ramp up production and put these out. Uh, this one in particular with the matte stainless with the VZ grips runs at 477 MSRP, which is very reasonable for this size of a revolver. And again, even like these little 85s, I mean, you can get these for like in the $200 range. So these I'm assuming will be probably in the $300 range at some point. So you just kind of kind of keep an eye out for them. Um, but really, again, affordable, but high quality revolvers. I mean, I haven't had a single issue with this 85 in the last couple of years. And of course, as with most modern revolvers, you do have that transfer bar safety in there, which basically means you have to pull the trigger to be able to have access to the, from the hammer to actually hit the firing pin. So that's just a nice little safety addition. So I tried to find a good mix of ammunition to test here. We got some plus P, we got some lighter loads, we got some heavier loads, all of course 38 special. I marked them on this target. We're gonna do five yards, go back to the line, give her a try. So up first, we have the Remington UMC 130 grain. All right, so that's the full metal jacket, 130 grain stuff. And we're gonna do six rounds, again, five yards. And then after that, we'll go ahead and show you guys the results of all the different types of ammunition. This is gonna be a good accuracy test for this actual 856 Defender. And it's also going to be a good reliability test because you're gonna run through a bunch of different types of rounds and just make sure there's no hiccups. So let's get going. Single action. It's good to note that the round directly to the right is the next round that's gonna be fired. So I'm gonna think about the extra revolver turns the cylinder this way, which depending on which way you're looking at, if you're looking at it this way, you're going counterclockwise. And that's something to note if you're only gonna put one type of round in there or if you're gonna do different types of ammunition, it's that first one on the right. It's gonna be the next one fired. So, single action. Next up, 38 Special Winchester 130 grain full metal jacket, little Winchester white box. Bolt pack here. Winchester did really well. Almost better than that Remington, I think. Up next, again, some Remington UMC, except this time it is 38 Special 125 grain soft jacketed hollow points, and it's plus P. So a little bit different, more of a self-defense round. So we're gonna do six rounds of that, and that is going on the bottom left, it looks like. A little bit more stout kick to it, it's that plus P. But again, this Model 86 is rated for plus B. Very nice. Up next, something a little bit heavier. This is the Magtech 38 Special 158 grain full metal jacket flat. All right, so a little bit heavier.
All right, last but not least, Monarch 38 Special Brass Case, 158 grain, soft jacket hollow point right there. Again, this one is not plus P like the other one, but it's very similar to that kind of more of a self-defense round, seeing that hollow point right there. This one's going right in the center. And again, kind of hitting just high, being that heavier grain. So let's take a look. So five yards, you can see the Remington 130 grain, six rounds, eh, not too, too bad. All right, then you move over to the 130 grain. It loved that 130 grain. I knew it from the moment I shot it. It seemed to really like it. Look at that nice Winchester 130 grain, much better grouping right there. Then we went down to that Magtech 158. You can see how it kind of hit high and I kind of compensated for that one just to kind of see where it was. So a little bit high to the right there. Um, Remington 125 grain plus P right here. And then the Monarch 158 grain, that last little group right there. Again, high with that heavier grain. So not too bad. Winchester 130 grain though seems to be the way to go. So we got six rounds of that Winchester 130 grain loaded up and also loaded up six rounds on this little speed strip right here. This is designed for 38 Special and 357. It is made by Bianchi or Bianchi, I don't know, <laughs> uh, right off of Amazon. You can pick these up. I'll put links down below to pretty much anything you see in the video if you guys are interested in picking this up. But this is nice to keep it in your pocket and then you got yourself 12 rounds at the ready. Or you can load it up, you got six spare rounds for your five shot snub nose Model 85. So let's do a quick reload. I'm just gonna hang this off my pocket. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Kind of pretend you're doing a self-defense reload. So six rounds, maybe mix a double action, mix a single action. Let's see how she does. So you grab that clip, load in two rounds, peel away. Another two rounds, peel away. This is not a magazine. Nice. <laughs> not the most accurate thing for a test, but really good reload there. So the little stripper clip things, little uh, strips work really well. All right, I'm gonna slow it down a minute. Try to do a quick reload, a little more accurate shots. Same thing, 130 grain, wind shifter. Just gonna get more of that stuff. It seems to work really well with it. Headshots are a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. We're at like seven yards. Peel it away, peel it away. Now she's going a little high. There you go. Oh yeah, nice and hot now. <laughs> That trigger, for those of you wondering, make sure she's unloaded here. So, double action here. Not too bad. Definitely heavy, probably about a 10 pound. So you go pull, pull, pull. Nice wall, you gotta push through and it breaks. Single action. See how far back that hammer goes, which makes it a really nice, smooth break and then back to double. There you go. Like I showed you, that ejector is really, really smooth there. 
and loading the rounds is nice and smooth as well. They just drop in, have a little bit of tolerance there. Very nice and a nice lockup. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Taurus Defender 856. You know, it's made in Brazil. It's definitely a nice quality, reliable revolver for the price point. And that's just it. I mean, Taurus has been pumping out good quality revolvers for a while now. And any issues that I've heard in the past have seemed to be resolved because that Model 85 I have is a few years old now and it runs just fine. In fact, it's getting better over time with that trigger, the cylinder, the, the ejector, rod right here all of those pieces are starting to really smooth out in time and it's just a joy to shoot it really is so and the defender is no different it's just gonna improve over time so awesome little revolver here by taurus if you guys are interested in picking this up i'll try to find some links they're not quite out there yet i know they're coming out as soon as they can uh, with everything going on with supply and demand i'm sure it's getting hard to get parts to push these out but if i find some links I'll go and throw them down below in either the description or the comments for you guys. So if you like anything you've seen on the video, I'll put them in the comment section as below as well. As always, subscribe to the channel. Like that video. It really helps me out. Head on over to Instagram. Follow us there. Like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And let's do a cylinder dump. <laughs> See you guys in the next review.